Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel. I'm the Orange Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode we made our way over to Orox Fort. We're ready to um, turn in the quest of having defeated the monster. We also managed to pick up some bathing salt, so we're done for the day. We are done until this very last thing is turned in. Hey, dude! Who goes there? Wait. Aren't those uniforms? We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness. We just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well. Hmm. <laughs> um, so we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing, though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. That's a great attitude. But still... It took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. <laughs> well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Mm hmm? Wait. Oh! Lord Eustace, what brings you... Ah, th that uniform... Are you...? Correct. I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alborea household. Please treat me accordingly, the same as you would my classmates. <laughs> what the heck? Trails in the Sky has posted updates. Great. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eustace. Wow. <laughs> Looks like even the Provincial Army will miss a chance to bend over backwards for him. Machias, hold your tongue. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. Ah, you saw it? Our provincial army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Exciting. Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. And we can't let the Imperial Army be stronger than us forever. I smell intrigue. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. <sighs> Orox Canyon Monster completed. Spark Arrow is a reward. I thought I didn't get any reward, too. Spark Arrow, you say? Spark Arrow has what on it? Arts plus five, arts defense plus three. Arts plus five is pretty nice. Dun, 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 dun. It's unfortunate that you have this needle shot right here, but I should switch it out for poise, most certainly. Although it was a special needle shot with additional defense. Eh. Eh, you already have access to a needle shot. What you don't have access to is mine, too. Yeah, that's good. That is fine as is. Alright, now let's talk to him. Please, be careful on, a, on your bay, way back, Lord Jesus. There is a civilian rest area over there, over that way, so please do make use of it if you wish. 
It's finally time for our provincial army to get getting uh, to a start getting some cutting edge tanks. The fortifications are coming along nicely too. I hope the end result will please you, Lord Jesus. No entering the fort is there. I was spoiled by trails in the sky. I was basically able to enter every every fort. This place pretty much exists only for the merchants. Okay, you don't have any new dialogue. That means we're going to be turning around. Juzes was very, very displeased about the army stocking up here. He is not on on terms Wait. with his dad. What is the meaning of this? Machias? <sighs> if we were on the border with Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness! Machias... Thing is, he agrees with you. He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Berehard. Yeah. Let's go then. That was. That was. It was a step forward, Machias. It might have felt like a step back, but it wasn't. Thing is, can I switch in? Nah. Nah. Not fighting Mr. Turtle, man. Leave it to me! But Mr. Birdman's? It's enormous. Stay on guard! We have the advantage! Is it only one? I'll handle it. It's only one. I'll handle this. Nice blinding. That's not gonna cut the mustard here. Rune Blade will. Be gone! Ha! <clears throat> Art's defense yeah. down is an awesome start and a good way to get our heat wave where it needs to be. Arcus, activate! Leave it to me! You can start with a needle shot. Uh -huh. Nice wasted zero arts round, friend. No. A thousand versus five thousand. What do you think is better? <laughs> Let's keep going. I mean, I mean, come on. Seriously, I'd like an answer here. Twenty arts make that big of a difference, do they? I equipped her with a mind too. What? Insta evening. Oh, what's that? It sounds like a siren. It seems to be coming from the port. Uh, Fee, what's. That's someone we saw in a trailer. Uh, what was that? A bird's like that common around here? Imbecile, that was no bird. Uh, looked like someone was riding on it. Yeah, I think it was a child, actually. Wh what? Are you, are you certain? Going by build, yeah. I didn't get a good look at the face, so I can't be 100% sure, but I think so. Also, hair color, I mean, we were, that was pretty, that was pretty one in a hundred. Like, or, or, that was a pretty rare thing to see someone with turquoise hair is what I'm trying to say here. Unbelievable, turquoise hair? 
you might not wanna... Wow, they're fast. <clears throat> Lodruzis! Were you on your way to back to Berea Heart? What is all this com commotion? What is the meaning of that siren? W well, you see... Um, moments ago we came aware of an intruder in Aurox Fort. You don't mean... The silver... That was the the silver that thing that flew p past us. You saw it. Which direction did it go? It flew off to the southeast mere moments ago, at a rather significant speed. Damn! If you'll please excuse us. Do take care, Lodruzis. Yeah, I mean, with ten kilometers per hour, you're not gonna catch up to that guy. I won't catch it. It does seem unlikely. What could that have been, though? That's a very good question. What's capable of flying that's not an airship? An archaism. I've never heard any flying device besides one. I've never heard of any flying de de device besides one. <laughs> this is a matter for the army. We should trust in them to handle it. We are students visiting here for our studies. We are under no obligation to do the provincial armies' job for them. Besides which, we are. Uh, besides which, we have our way, hands full on our with our own tasks. Well, well, that's true, but it would do us no harm to mention this incident in our report. It is noteworthy, after all. Yeah. On another note, my shoulder seems to have com healed completely. I feel ready to rejoin the front line. Are you certain? I find it hard to believe such a significant injury could heal so quickly. Yeah, some kind of alien constitution? I'm pretty sure I don't. I think Emma's grandmother's medicine was really just that effective. Uh, yes, that must have been it. A medicine, that's what I said, right. <laughs> I'm just glad you're alright. Reen can now be placed in the active par battle party once more. If you wish to set him as leader, place him back in the party via the camp menu. I do want him back. He's my strongest asset. And Machias is my weakest. Although, as a shooter, he's the best. Spark arrow, poison, mute. I'll take the mute from you. You can have Thales again. Spark arrow, you can keep. Poison, you can keep. Luminous ray, you can keep. Luck and Zeptium vein here. I want luck to go to Emma. Her strength is off the chain. I need my seal back, sorry. You would do well to equip something like a needle shot though, anyways. Ear strike is not good enough. Demonic scythe for speed increase. Detection is gonna be good. And Aqua Bleed. Aqua Bleed in this area. You have Reaper, Heat Wave, Breeze, Heal, Golden Sphere, Attack 1. Two thousand seven hundred experience on that master quartz already. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what exactly gains you experience on that sort of front. On that front. <laughs> All right. We're running around with Re with Reen again. That is very convenient. 
Uh, I should adjust my tactics as well. You switch places. Reen and Fee. Juices and... F Juices and Emma. Yep, that's good to go. We are good to go. As long as Fee and Juices aren't linked. Because I don't like it when they both win a combat or win, win a fight. They have a pretty lame, something pretty lame to say. You want to beat these for the uh, U materials. Let's get this over with. Okay. What did the 10 Target attack locked. make in terms of a difference? That is BS. Very well. Be gone. Ha! Yeah. No, you can use a spark arrow here. Oh. No, you can't. Will heat wave it both? No, it won't. No, they won't. Oh, this guy's too big for this. There's no way I can be that wasteful here. Oh, that was looking good. As a matter of fact. Uh -huh. Now. One overkill okay. in there. You can give some back. <laughs> I wonder what, why they can counter so often and I ha! so often can't. Another chance. Broken. That one, all right. See, we make a great team. Reen, why did you pause for so long? He really took a sweet time to think about what he was gonna say, and he couldn't think of something cool. So he said something nice instead. Nice guy, Reen. Chitness Chell. Not what I was. Why, like hoping for? Eh, I ran. Let's get this up. I'm sorry for okay. skipping that. That is pretty annoying when it Target gets lock. skipped. The black screen is almost as long as the animation itself, which makes it for not a particularly fun watch. Nope, AOE is too small on that. I'll handle this. Reens's Reens's attack animation. Now I know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of playing um, Samurai Warriors Three on the Wii. There was a character who would um, like it, 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 in Samurai Warriors or Destiny, oh, Destiny Warriors. Now. You always run around just beating hundreds of people with one guy who just combos through all his shit. And certain combos would leave you with similar attacks like that, and I would run ar around for hours with a character that, um, uh, yeah, would would use an attack like that, and he, he had something like one advantage. of those things he said, I think ridiculousness Go. or something, and I at that at the time I wasn't particularly good at speaking I English, and I thought it was quite funny how he said that all the time. Okay. Oh, I like the sound of him saying that all the time. Very well. But was it ridiculous? Why would he say ridiculous? Turn. That doesn't make any sense. Now that Cleaning I think about blades. it. Go. Being like six year, years older than I was back My then. Turn. I definitely <laughs> like to let's play that game again. Here we go. Not like I've My let's turn. played it before, but play it again and also record it while playing it. What a waste of time. Let's go. We're just doing this for the uh, U materials that don't drop. Don't call it a waste of time, though. What did he say? Hmm. How odd. We have the advantage. Here we I'm go. Sorry, now I'm getting quiet because I'm thinking about this. We might have the advantage, but My I turn. don't want to have the advantage. Hachi. Very well. Yeah. You know what's coming. Uh, I'll handle it. 
Now. Gotcha. I didn't want to do that. Now. I didn't want to hit A. Oh, we should be safe now. It didn't end up making a difference. It actually ended up being um, more productive this way. But nothing, that, that doesn't change the fact that I did not want to hit A. Why can't I sneak up on you? Ha! Now's our chance. Let's get him. Only three. My turn. Ha! I'll handle it. You do handle Target them quite left. well. He is extremely potent. I'll handle this. And with this uh, AOE to back it up. Be gone. Ha! We are okay. golden. Gleaming blades. My turn. Ha! That's the power of the eight leaves. Is it though? Chitness shell. Wait, there were boxes. I saw them. Ha! Ha! Sedative. We're not getting those ten zepeth drops anymore. A thing which I greatly I'll enjoy, this. actually. Okay. It's my turn. That one looks annoying. Watch out. Yeah, this one is annoying. If you let him get to you. If we get a triple advantage show on him and and fight like three guys at once where we can use an ass breaker. I mean, they're not as annoying, right? Oh, shit. This might actually be a challenge. Good. Starts out with a quick round and one I shots fee. Careless. You my fucker. Turn. You fucking shit stain. Well, that's hard mode for you. Very well. That is hard mode for you. I guess I shouldn't have been so confident myself. There we go, 200 CP. Wow, I spent so much time farming those up too. Thanks. I didn't think, I don't think she was at 200, but still. I knocked him back a bit. I do want to uh, regenerate that CP I just Arcus, lost, though. Activate. Ha! My turn. Why did I do that? I wanted to have the delay happen. Did that to yourself. Here we go. Did that to yourself, sir. Okay. Here. Arcus, Please don't get death blown. That was out of. Now. That was more out of spite than anything else. Please, please. Uh, game, don't crash, though. Good. Good. My turn. I just wanted to show you how it feels. Why didn't I want to get death blown? My well, turn. if it had gotten death blown, I would have cast <laughs> Impassion for nothing. My turn. <laughs> and now we can just attack. It's my turn. Uh -huh. My turn. Well, that's gonna do another five thousand damage. No, no three thousand. Oh, not even. His arts defense isn't downed. Okay. Makes a huge difference, as you can see. I'll handle this. Here we go. He got knocked back on the timeline quite My a bit, turn. didn't he? I'll handle this. How can you Go. wait? No. Stop. Stop. No fear. Okay. I disagree. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Arcus, activate. That is good. I'll handle this. Never mind. Why waste my EP? <laughs> How pathetic. On like 10 experience, not even. Why waste my EP? You material. Maybe that was worth fighting. It probably wasn't. It probably wasn't. But I just wanted to. And you materials are very hard to get come across. You are correct. Getting them in quests is. We're finally back. Well, it didn't take that long. <sighs> my 
feet are killing me. Yeah, uh, you... Oh, good lord. You should be glad that you don't go hiking with my mother. Alright. Let's head back to town. Just about sundown. I guess that means our field study activities are done for the day. Thank goodness for that, I'm exhausted. And I'm starving. Hmm. Whatever that strange flying object was, it doesn't seem to have come anywhere near the main th 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 thoroughfare at least. Fortunately not. The city wouldn't be this calm if it had. Yeah, it's probably long gone by now. We should head back to the hotel before it gets dark. There's a lot to put in our daily re re daily reports today, after all. I indeed. We can't figure out, out how best to summarize the day's events over dinner. Yeah, right. Dinner's gonna have to wait just a lot longer, though, because we got a bunch of people to talk to. I'll start right now, even, in here. Welcome to Anderson and Co. Can I interest you in some fruit and as, as an evening snack? We can even deliver it straight to your mansion if you so desire. We have some fresh and delicious food in stock. We can even deliver it straight to your mansion. All of the nobles here in Berea Hard are known for their keen sense of aesthetics. We are always updating our lineup to reflect their current tastes, so we, we do claim to serve. Their needs, so striving for perfection is a must. <laughs> We're always updating our lineup to match our current ta uh, the current tastes of the nobles who frequent our store. I trust my eye for quality, so please take the time to pers pers peruse our products. I'm certain that will that they will please you. Not at this hour. It's been g getting nice and warm lately, so I'd like to get the mansion thoroughly cleaned. Perhaps I'll air the entire mansion once the party's over. Yes, that sounds like a fine plan. I'll have to run it by the master when I get back. Air the mansion. I spotted the provincial army armor tanks in town more than a few times recently. Their presence seems to be m uh, for more than just patrolling, though. There seem to be free military exercises taking place at Orgs for too. It's all cause for concern. The provincial army seems to be unusually active lately. Of course, worrying about it isn't going to accomplish much. What did you have? Ah. Boots. The number of nobles here in Berehard is staggering, isn't it? I came from High Dollar to study up on uh, to study up on fashion, but I still can't get used to it. My heart always starts racing whenever I pass b pass them on the street too. Ah, I've lived here so for years now, but I still can't get used to it. Perhaps it's more of an issue with the nobles themselves than the city. It's not uncommon for books from the Middle Ages to be found here in Bereahard with what all, with all the ancient man, mansions. Those books are then brought to this store for us to handle, so please feel free to bring us any you believe are suitable. We'll gladly buy them off you, should you be uh, should we see them de what I You won't be if you won't find a finer selection of antique books in this city, guaranteed. Feel free to bring any books of your own that you believe are suitable for us to sell. That's not the right issue. Open. Hunting is perhaps the most noble of pursuits. It allows us to travel our lands and take everything in, in while in engaging in fierce battles with wild beasts. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my blood boil with excitement. Hunting is perhaps the most noble of pursuits. It allows us to travel our land and burr burr. Court fencing is the preferred style of swordsmanship for nobles here in Erebonia. It is a graceful yet powerful style which relies on the use of a one-handed sword. 
Another famous school of swordsmanship would be the Arsade school, favored by knights. However, unlike court fencing, the Arsade school is practiced by both nobles and commoners alike. Court fencing is the preferred style of swordsmanship in Erebonia, naturally it's the most prevalent sword style here in Berear too. Thirty extra damage. I'm doing this because I know that there's going to be a boss fight at some point, and I am not gonna be able to survive through that if I don't change up my lineup. So who focuses on melee is gonna focus on melee, and who focuses on magic is gonna focus really, really heavily on magic. Mommy and Daddy will come home soon. I wonder what's for dinner. Mommy and Daddy will be home soon. Oh, it's gotten pretty late. I need to go home and get dinner ready. Mom and Dad will be tired after work, so they uh, so I want them to come home ha to have a meal. We'll be taking our leave then. And you've been sitting around here all day. It's probably not the best idea to go out onto the highway this late. We should return to the hotel. What? What? Who was that? Was that you? Must have been her. My lady, may I suggest that we... White mink fur would undoubtedly go well with my brooch, don't you agree, Forster? Why, of course. Haha, <laughs> as I expected, we've spent the entire day here. My lady's ability to focus on conversing for such an extended period of time truly is impressive. Ah, oh, yes, I meant to ask. Did you happen to see that new product at that boutique? The, that white color would certainly go well with my brooch. I must get my hands on it. Oh, yes, I meant to ask. Oh, I quite agree. I myself happen to be raising some minks on our land. Why, wild white minks are extremely rare, after all. Not a particularly big fan of that sort of shenanigans. Viscount Gierig. One of the provincial army's armored cars made its way toward the guardhouse at high speed not long ago. That's rather ungraceful of them, even if something does seem to have happened. Provincial armies' actions reflect upon the prov province they serve. I hope they realize this. Where'd Blondie go? No, wait, 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 wait. Saffron. Many of our servants here in Berea Heart come from the outskirts of the Koitsen province. I came here about three years ago myself. The pay here is definitely higher than you would expect from any other part of the country. There's plenty of mansions here in Berea Heart, and the pay is good, too. I even have the chance to meet people from my hometown from time to time, so I'm rather happy with this job. We tried to save or to stay over at the pla at a place called Hotel Esmeralda, but turns out you need to, to reserve a room or have someone's referral if you don't have a peerage. Pe the nobles here really are something else. We ended up We ended up getting a room at Nin on Artisan Street. Man, the nobles here really are something else. This city is so elegant. We've been through some stuff here, but I'm glad we came. The city is so elegant. The control tower is this orbital radar happened to be picking up something resembling a huge bird earlier. It was heading toward the outskirts of town at a rapid speed too, so there was a bit of a panic. It said it was approximately three arch in length. Maybe it was some sort of large monster? The staff is currently working to figure out just what it was that they picked up on the orbital radar. It might have been some sort of large monster. It was no large monster. It was actually quite a cute petite girl. We'll come to know her. 
Once the story picks up, I've heard it gets to be quite the shitstorm. Alright, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, toodles!